Hello, let's talk about business development in the Jordan Valley. Five things that you should know about the Jordan Valley. Number one, it's out in the boonies. It's very far away. Say you want to get to a town like Maskiot in the Jordan Valley. If you're leaving from Tel Aviv, it will take you over an hour and a half to get there. It's only 110 kilometers away, but a good part of the road is on old and very winding roads, and it takes a long time to get there. Now, if you were coming from Beit Sha'an, it's only about half an hour away, but Beit Sha'an isn't the most central place either. Think about it yourself. When was the last time you were in Beit Sha'an? If you're coming from Jerusalem, it's about an hour and 40 minutes to the north. And then you would be taking the Alon Road. I spoke about the Alon Road in previous videos. The Alon Road is a road that is considered to be the western border of the Jordan Valley region. When Israel spoke about annexing the Jordan Valley, that would be up to the Alon Road. And all of the Israeli towns in the Jordan Valley are east of the Alon Road. Talking about the Jordan Valley, we should also be aware of the fact that it's very hot there. I am no big fan of extremely hot weather, but it, it's hot there. So people who go and live there, they are making great sacrifice by living down in the valley in the very hot region. When you visit there, you should surely wear a hat, drink a lot of water, and stay in the shade as much as you can. Number three. Most of the towns in the Jordan Valley are farming communities, Moshavim. Today we're going to speak about Maskiot, which is different. Maskiot was founded after Israel pulled out of Gush Katif in 2005. And this town was meant for some of the people who were displaced when Israel demolished Gush Katif. Number four, what about jobs? Where do people go to work? if they live so far away. That is really a huge challenge for people who live in the Jordan Valley. If they're farmers and they produce uh, vegetables, then of course that's their, their work. And now there is more uh, development regarding the medical marijuana, which is licensed in Israel. So if a farmer can achieve that uh, licensing, then there seems to be a great uh, future in growing the medical marijuana. Uh, but what about people who are not farmers? So let's meet David. I am David. David is an entrepreneur. He owns a flour mill at Maskiot, and he has uh, developed a distribution of his own flowers under his own label called Sakemach and other grains and whole food products that he distributes to stores and to homes throughout Israel. This is a family business. I own the flower mill. It's a family business. His children help out in their free time and during their summer vacation. David is now building a very advanced free-range chicken farm that is going to produce eggs. In the first stage, he plans on having 3,000 chickens in this shed. And later, when he, when he gets uh, permits to expand, he is going to build, to build this up to 6,000 chickens. The egg farming in Israel is regulated by the government. Each farmer needs to get a license for a certain amount of chickens and eggs that he is allowed to produce. On the roof of this building, he is going to place solar panels that are going to be an additional form of income for his business. And it's also, also going to be part of Israel's transition into green energy, producing energy from the sun. David plans on opening up this operation and farm to visitors. So tourists who are visiting Israel or Israelis who are driving from the north from the Galilee, from the Kinneret, from Tiberia, Tiberias, to Jerusalem on Road 90 or to the Dead Sea, 
can stop off at this farm on the way to visit the farm, to see this operation, to enjoy some of the produce, and to support the farmers and the businesses here in the Jordan Valley. So when you are in Israel and on the road, make a point to stop in Maskiot and visit David and his farm. This is David Haivri. I hope that you're enjoying this video. If you have, I look forward to seeing your like, but even more important to seeing your comments below. Write in your questions, your suggestions, and I'll be glad to hear from you. Be well until the next video. Shalom.